this lecture, we will talk today about how to promote the enterprise development and an investment promotion program. As you recall, in the first lecture, we have talked about ARCID, the Arab Regional Center for Entrepreneurship and Investment, how it started, how it has been initiated, and how it has been developed to be a center of excellence worldwide to promote entrepreneurship and projects and programs related to enterprise creation and enterprise growth. And in the second lesson, we have talked about EDIP, the Enterprise Development and Investment Promotion Program, the Arab Bahrain model. What is it all about? What do we mean by EDIP? Uh, what are the four steps of EDIP uh, from project preparation and empowerment to business counseling and technology tie-up, access to finance and to incubation? Today, we will talk about how can we promote an EDIP program in a country? What is required to be done? What should be our target group? What should be our tools to do this promotion? So, the outline and objectives of the promotion, the strategy for that promotion, tools and techniques for the promotion program, objectives of promotion, Creating awareness among the people about the program and facilitating potential entrepreneurs to join the program. When we come and develop an EDIP program in a country at the national level or at the regional level or at the community level, we have to create awareness among the targeted group. Why we are starting this program? What this program will serve the individual? What it will serve the family? What it will serve the community? How? At the national level, the economy will benefit from a startup entrepreneur who will create the enterprise and will grow with the enterprise. Of course, we have to establish the credibility of the organization and creating a conducive environment for the program. We cannot start a program if the counterpart in the country, in the region, in the community, which will be the enabler or the facilitator to implement an EDIP program is not a credible organization or association. So there should be a credibility or a credible counterpart who will be selected to develop the EDIP program in a locality, community or regional or at the national level. And of course, we have to create the enabling environment for the program, which means that we have to have the counterparts, we have to have the partners, which will be the serve providers for any EDIP program. The counterparts and the providers are mainly as what we have seen in, in, in lesson two, which when we have given the example of Bahrain and who are the networkers in Bahrain for the entrepreneur in the honeycomb, they could be chamber of commerce and industry, they could be training institutions, they could be universities, they could be financial institutions, they could be administrative institutions like ministries, uh, they could be municipalities, okay? We have to create the awareness on all of those parties, which are the services providers to entrepreneurs. What is the EDIP is all about? Why the EDIP is important to help startup, self-made entrepreneurs to start creating their enterprise? Because how their families, their communities, the economy at the national level will benefit by bringing an entrepreneur for creating or materializing their dreams. Strategy. The promotional strategy should necessarily be worked out keeping in view the location and the target group. This is very important, you know, whatever strategy we would like to develop for EDIP, we have to make sure what are my target group whom I'm looking at. Are there women? Are there fresh graduates? Are there graduates from a vocational school? Are there unemployed? Are there people coming from a handicraft center? Are there are professionals, doctors, lawyers, who they are working in a job, but they want to leave their job for a better living. They want to be entrepreneurs. So this is very important. Whatever strategy I need to develop, I have to look into the, into the target group for that strategy. Another important setup for developing any strategy is the location. Is it in the rural area? Is it in a city? Is it in an industrial area? Is it within a, a university or a campus boundaries? I'm developing this uh, EDIP program because this will help me to know and identify what kind of entrepreneurs, 
which I will be targeting, and also it could help me in looking into the sector where these entrepreneurs they will be coming from. They could be agropreneurs, entrepreneurs working in the farming or in the agriculture sector. They could be fit entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs related to health and fitness. They could be women entrepreneurs in any field because women uh, activities mainly and women enterprise sometimes they need a specific kind of, of support. They could be technology or techno entrepreneurs, you know, in innovation, creativity, or they are working on R&D on some of the universities, they're working with the research. This could be, they could be techno entrepreneurs or green entrepreneurs, okay? Green entrepreneurs, mainly they're working on in the environment or in the clean technology. So we have to specify the strategy. It has to be coordinated and, and, and well, uh, you know, toward our target group in a specific locality. Strategy, what is it all about? EDIP, the Enterprise Development and Promotion Program, demands a flexible and a, and a personal approach. It is ever enhancing because we are dealing with um, the human part of an enterprise. We're dealing with the entrepreneur. So, uh, our, our target, our, uh, our promotional campaign, our techniques, it's all related to the behavior and to the thinking and to the challenges which will be facing that human part of the enterprise, which is the entrepreneur. Accordingly, what should be the most suitable tools which we should be using to promote the program? As we said, we have to be flexible, we have to uh, be working in motivating our potential target groups, women, innovators, agropreneurs, fit entrepreneurs in health and fitness sector. So we have to be working and we have to be dealing and we have to work with their brain set. Because what, what we'll be doing in bringing them to an EDI program, we are trying to build the confidence for them on the, on the selection of the enterprise or the idea which they will be selecting. And then to, de to develop it through the EDIP modality, from an idea generation or an idea identification to a clear business plan for an enterprise, which will lead me to an enterprise creation. So my techniques will be how to attract them first, how to let them have the confidence, how credible I am to work with them to materialize their project idea, their, I their dreams, into reality to become an enterprise. So, what should be the tools which we, which we should use to promote the program? Here it takes us, of course, to the tools and the techniques. Because the tools and the techniques are related to each other. A need based and an appropriate combination of the promotional strategies may be taken to promote the program, keeping in view the location and the target group, as you see. In the strategy, and now we're coming to the technique, we're talking about the target groups and we're talking about the location. Here we would like to look and consider and think about what are some of the most widely used promotional tools. What are they? Of course, a very important tool is the press and advertisement and the press notes. Whenever we want to start a campaign, our counterpart should always be the media. This is why when we start developing a national strategy mainly for IDIP in a country, we always associate the media and, and sometimes, and nowadays we're trying more and more to bring the media in what we call the training of trainers for the IDIP program modality. So the media should be part of that, we should train journalists, you know, television um, staff, people working in the radio, even in the, in the social media nowadays, you know, the Facebook, the you know, tube is very important to, to broadcast and to bring this information to our uh, new young, young generation. So, but in order to reach that and to let the media people or to let the, the, the journalists to understand clearly what are we talking about, it is always good to associate them 
from the beginning on the, on the program itself. So they could be an integral part of the program. They will understand all the details of the EDIP. What do we mean by an entrepreneur? Why do we need to develop an entrepreneurship program in a country? How we create an enterprise? How the creation of an enterprise will help the community? It will help the overall family. It will, it will spill over on the national economy. And journalists, you know, mainly on, in the social um, part of, of, the, of, the, of, of, the, of the of the media or in the economic part of, of the media, they will understand. And it will be a good topic for them also to generate and to develop articles into, into that domain. So here we can develop a good partnership between the, the, the media and our, our program if we start from them from the beginning to let them to be partner with us. The press notes, we should from time to time to, to, to write sometimes general articles on entrepreneurship, on micro and small and medium businesses in general. We talk about success stories of entrepreneurs sometimes in the media or in the, in the advertisement. Uh, this is on the, general, on the general term, but sometimes we can, we can also bring specific articles or specific uh, press releases on, on a conference, on, on a training program, on, 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 on an exhibition related to micro, small and medium businesses. So more and more the media will be aware about this program, about that there is an EDIP program in that locality, in that region, you know, which help entrepreneurs to start up their businesses and to grow with their businesses. You know, handbills and brochures, it is always quite handy and, and quite supportive when we develop a nice brochure, and this is also it's part of the, of the component of the program of EDIP. When you start an EDIP in any country, in any locality, you train the first group how to develop a brochure. What should the brochure contain? What should be the messages in this brochure? You know, again, for the target group. Is it women? Is it farmers or agro entrepreneurs? Is it fit entrepreneurs? And, and, and. So the brochure should be very attractive and should be the, 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 the exposure of the EDIP for the reader. And it shouldn't be a complicated brochure. It should be with uh, very clear, straightforward uh, wording and terminologies. And of course, animation, which will attract the attention of, of the reader. Okay? But it will give detailed information also on you know, what are the conditions to apply for the EDIP, what is required to be an, 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 EDIP, an EDIP member, uh, uh, how to register, okay, and, uh, and what, what should be the, the, the duration of the program, what you will benefit from the program. This is all should be in a brochure. Of course, posters, the, poster, uh, the posters and banners is a very important tool because we can put them in universities, we can put them in metro underground stations, we can put them in sometimes in cinemas, in cafes, you know, we can put them in, in malls, you know, areas where, you know, frequent potential entrepreneurs, they can be going, you know, uh, or they can frequent this area so that they can see the poster. They can see, oh, there's a program going to start on, on a specific uh, sector, for example, on, on agro-entrepreneurs, you know, so uh, if someone has an idea of farming or an idea of agriculture, he will read and he will see this poster. Then he will say, okay, why should I... Oh, I shouldn't join because there always should be the website on that, on that poster. There should be, uh, you know, the telephone number, the contact person on, on, on that poster. Um, sometimes also in, in student unions, you know, in cafeterias, in universities, um, some entrepreneurs, you know, that are just ready for graduation or that maybe they will be graduating a year after, they will start thinking about what their future will look like, what they want to do in the future. So, a nice uh, brochure and a nice poster can attract their attention, you know, that yes, you know, there is a program which can help me to, to start uh, looking into my future. Banners, you know, street banners, sometimes it's very important, you know, in some localities, you know, you put a street banner with a nice logo, with a nice message, you know, saying you want to be a millionaire, maybe this is the biggest thing you can do, or do you want to start your own business? Do you have an idea? Do you have a dream? You know, and then, you know, it could be with a shaking hand or, or, or money, 
you know, sign or a technology sign in, in the logo itself of the banner, which will make the entrepreneur to be, or the potential entrepreneur to be attracted to that banner. And then he may see it several, in several places. Then he may look and see it in, 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 in a poster, or he may find a brochure to read more about it. <coughs> Television advertisement, and of course, on talk shows, you know. Uh, nowadays, you know, and also it depends on, on the target group. Some target groups, they like to, sh to see television. Some target groups, they go through the social media. Some target groups, you know, they don't read. Some target groups, you know, they go by, by mouse talk. Some target groups, you know, they, um, they, they, they watch a lot of television. Okay, so it is also a good uh, media, you know, partner to, to advertise and to bring programs into the television. You know, you know, we can agree with the television, for example, that we will have 30 seconds or one minute ad on the television, same message which we use in the street banners. Or we can have uh, a discussion uh, program, you know, on, uh, on, on future uh, generations, work, uh, job creation, um, you know, target groups, what they can do, um, how we can develop the economy how the youth can play a big part or, or a major part or whatever kind of access to the economic apparatus of a country, what should be the role. So we can come from a general dimension on a television show or a television talk and we can bring a specific program, a specific activity in the television. You know, we can bring a successful entrepreneurs. You know, they can start talking about their experience, how did they start, why they why they, the beginning they selected that their career or their future, uh, uh, you know, economy or their self-stemmed, uh, uh, you know, went through by looking into an enterprise and developing an enterprise and then what have happened, how did they grow with the enterprise and mainly if this entrepreneur they came through an EDIP program, okay, how the EDIP have helped them to materialize the dream, the idea, how it became into an action, how it became into an operational investment, how did it grow, how are they today, and what are the still support they're receiving from the EDIP, uh, uh, you know, program or the EDIP personnel in the, in, in the country. So television shows also is sometimes very important for a kind of a target group who watches television. Personal contact. Personal contact is one of the most active I personally find it in, in, my, in my job for the last 20 years in this domain. The personal contact is a very important setup for promoting an EDIP program. The one-to-one, -one, a friend, a family member, a colleague in, 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 in work, you know, saying, well, I have attended this program, my friends have attended this program, my wife have attended this program, I have heard about this program, why not you get into this program? Why not we get together into the program? A, per, uh, um, a successful entrepreneur who already went into the program and he developed, he or she, their enterprise, and then they become very successful. This is a very good tool for exposing and bringing the message across to others. You know. uh, word of mouth and the personal impact is one of the most important tools and techniques for promotion of EDIP. Audiovisual, uh, audiovisual presentation. What are we doing today? It's, uh, it's, very, it's a very important tool, you know, also of bringing the knowledge, of exposing. And now audiovisual became a very important tool and technique. And the technology is advancing every day to bring the f this tool as a very fast tool and a very close tool, you know, to the, the coming generations. Successful entrepreneurs, this is, is a very important tool, as I have mentioned, in bringing, you know, the, 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 the reality, bringing the uh, uh, vi visualization itself of what are we talking about. You have an entrepreneur in front of you, started the business, started from nothing, was just a potential entrepreneur, was a dreaming entrepreneur one day. They went through the edit, they developed, they created the enterprise, they grew with the enterprise, they became very successful. It is something materialistic, you can see it, you can feel it in front of you directly. 
Of course, other channels, you know, as we say today, we have the social media, Facebook. You know, it's a very important tool. Very, very, very important tool nowadays. Well, social media have been used for a lot of things now for, you know, for discussions, for democratizations of societies, you know, for uh, uh, bringing just uh, a simple idea to chat. Uh, you'll find a lot of exchange of information. And, you know, it is, it is what we have inside now, we, you know, well, maybe it's getting into privacy sometimes, but we share. It is a tool of knowledge for us, okay? So in the social media, we can also uh, use it as a very important technique to promote uh, an enterprise development and an investment promotion program. Thank you very much. And if you need any further information, you can go to the website so that you can have more information on how you can develop and promote an EDIP program in a community, in a country at the national level.